Hey, what's up? I'm Ryan, and in this video, I'm going to show how to create clean topology using grid fill inside Blender. So sit back, relax, and let's get to it. Okay, so what is grid fill and what does it do? Well, when you have gaps and holes in your mesh, you want to fill them using the fill feature. Now, fill on its own can be pretty useful, but grid fill, for me at least, is a far better feature. So let me show you what they do. So we have two cubes here, and I've removed the top part of their topology, giving us these holes. So we'll start with the fill tool first. We'll select our cube and go into edit mode, and we'll change our selection type to edge selection. Now, if we alt left click on one of these lines here, it will select the entire edge for us. Now we can hit F on the keyboard to fill it. Unfortunately, the fill has no topology. It leaves us with an N-gun, which you really don't want as part of your model. 3D software as well as game engines work with polygons which have four vertices or triangles that have three vertices. Any more than four, you have an N-gon. And as a rule, N-gon should generally be avoided. So in order to fix this N-gon, we'll go into vertex mode by either going up here and selecting vertex mode or selecting one on the keyboard. If you're not aware, you can use the one, two and three keys to jump through the different selection modes. So with vertex mode selected, we're going to shift select these two vertices here and hit J on the keyboard to join them. And as you can see, it's cut across the topology. Now this is still an N-gon, so we'll select these two vertices and cut across once more. Now we have these four polygons. So it's important to know how to do this because if the other techniques fail, the only way is the manual way. It may take longer, but it will work. Now we'll move on to our second cube. So let's go back into object mode, select our second cube, and go back into edit mode. So just like last time, we'll select edge mode up here, and alt select an edge to select the entire thing. Now I'll hit control F and go down to grid fill. So as you can see, it's not only filled up the gap this time, but has also automatically generated the correct topology. So this is a very powerful feature, which I often use, but I'll show you some cases in which you'd be better off using the fill tool. So to the right, we have these two cylinders, again with the top surfaces removed. One cylinder has eight vertices and the other has nine. We'll select the one with the eight first and go into edit mode, select edge mode, alt left click on the edge and hit control F and go down to grid fill. So just like the cube, it filled the hole with our topology. Now, if you look towards the bottom left of the screen, we have this little menu with a few extra settings. First, we have Span. Span allows you to increase or decrease the amount of topology we're adding to our grid fill. I mainly keep this to default, but that option is there. Offset will allow you to rotate the direction of the grid to best suit your preference. This can come in really handy when modeling complex shapes. We also have Symbol Blending, which relaxes the grid but if you like sharper lines, you can disable it. Now onto our last cylinder. So go back into object mode and select the cylinder with nine vertices. So go into edit mode, select edge mode, alt left click on the edge and hit control F and go down to grid fill. So as you can see, nothing happened. And instead we got this error. The error is basically telling you that you need an equal amount of vertices to work with. So it basically can't work with odd numbers. So that's something to keep in mind. Avoiding odd numbers when modeling can be easy. As a general rule, I tend to stick to even numbers wherever I can. But if it's out of your control, you can use the fill method to fill a hole instead. So there are two fill types inside Blender. So the shortcut for fill without any topology is F, like we used on the first cube. But we also have Alt F, which can also be accessed through Control F and going to fill. So as you can see, it's filled our hole with triangles instead of one large engon. In general, I try to avoid triangles as much as possible, but this feature can be pretty useful. Also, if we look towards the bottom left of the screen, we have this menu. So if we open it up, you can see that it says beauty. If you enable it and disable it, it gives you an alternative way of laying out your topology. Hopefully you understand why all these methods exist and when best to use them. So if you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a like, and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out. That's all from me, I'll see you around.